Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. 10 Strangest Things Washed Up on Beaches Everyone loves a nice stroll on the beach. Being able to feel the sand in between your toes might be the best feeling in the world, especially during summer when you have the warmth of the sun kissing your face. But sometimes, what seems like a casual beach day involves finding mysterious things that are much harder to identify. The ocean is full of surprises and is always tossing up trash and treasures that we never expect to see. This proves that there's much to be discovered about life in the ocean's depths. It's not always seashells and starfish. Here's our list of 10 strangest things washed up on beaches. Number 10. A Dice Cube This isn't something you see every day. This huge dice cube was found on Lake Coeur d'Alene in Idaho in March 2017, baffling residents about its origin. Coeur d'Alene resident Mark Sales and his father were the ones who spotted the dice floating near the boardwalk on a Saturday. The city officials later removed the storage dice from the lake, announcing that it was an old storage tank, but the residents still wanted answers. Where had it come from in the first place? This takes us to Cataldo in 2001. It happens that the dice may have been on a longer journey than initially thought. A guy named Ed Short said that something strange caught his eye on his property along the Coeur d'Alene River near Cataldo. At that time, the dice was just a black steel tank and Short says he didn't know where it came from. During the flooding of 2008, the tank was washed away out of his property. It washed up on Michelle Gridley's mother's neighbor's beach, Driftwood Point. This was where it got its dice art by Michelle Gridley's husband, Chris Gridley. He said that they got tired of looking at it and decided to make some large vinyl circles and make it look like dice. This made his in-law's house to be referred to as Dice Beach. The dice stayed there for some years till nature washed it away again to now Idaho where it became popular. It now lives off Northwest Boulevard by the skate park. What a journey! Still no word on who owns the metal box, but at least we know why it was transformed into dice. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 9. Ice Eggs Nature just loves to keep us guessing, doesn't it? We know that ice comes in many shapes and sizes, from mountainous icebergs to tiny flurries of snow, but few of us have come across ice eggs. Risto Matilla was the first one to experience this strange yet wonderful sight. So incredibly jealous right now. He and his wife were on a Sunday stroll along Marianemi Beach on Finland's Hailoto Island when they saw the ice eggs and managed to take some snaps which quickly spread through social media. The image showed a stretch of 30 meters, about 100 feet, of sand littered with frozen spheres that ranged from golf ball sized to the circumference of a football. Matilla told news sources that he comes from the nearby city of Ulu and had never seen anything like that. Experts' opinion states that the ice eggs are caused by a rare process in which small pieces of ice are rolled over by wind and water. What was a normal stroll on the beach turned to be the discovery of something amazing. Number 8. Conjoined Dolphins On August 4th, 2014, in Dikili, near the western city of Izmir in Turkey, Tugrul Mitin, a gym teacher who was busy enjoying his vacation on the beach, found the corpse of conjoined baby dolphins. The dead dolphin had two heads but merged to share just one tail. It was speculated to be a one-year-old calf measuring just 3.2 feet in length. Because of his intriguing discovery, he took some photos of the dolphins which instantly caught public attention worldwide. He later phoned the police, who came and removed the dolphin to a laboratory for further investigation. A marine biologist, Mehmet Gokoglu, welcomed the opportunity to study the strange dolphin, calling the incident rare. Number 7. Giant Eyeball Forget about conjoined dolphins. Here is a gigantic eyeball. Gino Covacci was not expecting to find a giant eyeball while strolling down a Florida beach. I mean, who would? In an interview with the Sun Sentinel, Covacci said that when he found the eye, it was very fresh and still bleeding when putting it in the plastic bag. 
The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission was immediately contacted, and after further examination based on the eye's color, size, and the remnants of bone on its edges, they guessed it to be from a giant squid, swordfish, or some sort of sea monster. Whatever kind of animal it belongs to, there's likely some sort of aquatic beast swimming around right now with only one eye. I don't know about you, but that thought gave me goosebumps. Doesn't it look like an alien? Be honest, what did you think it was? Number 6. Giant Pipes Four enormous giant pipes have washed ashore along the coast of Norfolk, England. The pipes, which are around 8 feet in diameter and 200 meters long, are said to have washed up on the shore after coming loose from ships headed to Algeria. Chell Larsen, CEO of Pipe Life Norway, claimed that the pipes were part of a delivery totaling 3,200 meters long for a construction project in Algeria. The good thing is that the tubes aren't dangerous to the public and people have been taking pictures on top of or next to the pipes. The only thing they have to watch out for is not to drop off of it as it's extremely dangerous. Number 5. Massive Driftwood The giant piece of driftwood was one of dozens of trees washed up in La Push, a small community in Washington State on the U.S. West Coast. This piece of driftwood, as a matter of fact, is called a drift log. It was found by Philip Lockman, a retired school teacher, and his daughter while on their daily strolls along the beach. Philip then took a photo of his daughter, Amanda, standing next to the drift log. The red cedar tree is considered to have been carried into the Pacific Ocean from the Olympic National Park on the northwest corner of the state near the Canadian border. Mance of the Olympic National Park said that it isn't uncommon to find driftwood as tall as a human, but the one on the shore was very big. Seems like this is one piece of wood that no one will be throwing along the beach for the dog to fetch. Number 4. Dinosaur Femur As if a giant eyeball, conjoined dolphins, and giant driftwood weren't bizarre enough, an entire dinosaur thigh bone is washed up on Washington Beach. This fragmented femur bone, which is estimated to be over 80 million years old, became the first evidence that dinosaurs once roamed Washington. Insane! Most people had walked right by it until the paleontologist discovered the femur while looking for fossilized signs of other extinct animals, and the rock was so hard that it took them an entire day to pry the fossil out. They compared the fossil to other museum specimens and finally identified it as a theropod, a type of meat-eating dinosaur. The fossil is now held in trust by the Burke Museum on behalf of state parks. Number 3. Harley Davidson a British Colombian man, Peter Mark, got the surprise of his life recently when he looked inside a battered shipping container that had been washed up on a remote beach and found a Harley Davidson motorcycle. It's said to have been swept into the Pacific Ocean by the Japanese tsunami in 2012. This makes it the first confirmed piece of tsunami debris to land on Canada's shores. With the help of Japanese media, using the still-legible VIN from the motorbike, Mark was able to learn the identity of the original owner of the bike, Ikkyo Yokoyama, a resident of the hard-hit Miyagi Prefecture on Honshu Island. The motorbike company offered him a brand new motorcycle to replace the one he'd lost, but instead, Yokoyama requested the bike be displayed in a place of prominence at the museum as a remembrance of their lives in the 2011 tragedy. The Harley-Davidson motorbike is now part of the museum's permanent display. It's a rusty tribute to the still fresh wounds of the disaster that rocked a nation. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on our future video. Number 2. Sea Monster Andre Vincent is a marine biology student at one of the largest universities in Britain. When searching through the drawers in his professor's desk, innocently looking for a phone that had been confiscated earlier that day when Andre had been caught texting in class, the young student stumbled upon this photo, which had no context either. It certainly looks photoshopped, and there's no way it could be real. Since he couldn't ask his professor, it's safe to assume that it was just a random collection that he wanted to use on a student. By the look of things, you can so tell it's a fake and it's been tampered with. 
To me, it looks like a giant fish with a double-sided spike in its head. Others will say the ears look like plane wings. Does anyone else have a clue what this is? A secret government project, maybe? And number one, giant squid. You can come across a lot of things while taking a stroll on the beach. However, a giant squid is almost never on your mind. A 4.2 meter long squid was washed up on the shores of New Zealand's capital. It was found by three brothers, Daniel Jack and Matthew Applin, who were out for a morning dive. They immediately contacted the National Institute of Water and Atmospheric Research, who later came to pick it up. The Department of Conservation spokesman said that they did wash up from time to time, but none was ever that big. They even termed it as the second largest living cephalopod. At this point, beach trolls are starting to seem creepy, and I wouldn't want to bump into any of these things on this list.